hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about things we ignore but important for wpdb method so previously i have created this playlist for crude operation in which i demonstrate uh, insert update and delete method so in for this methods there is a thing we should not ignore however it is an optional thing but uh, it's better to use that so the thing uh, i'm gonna show you is here in this page uh, this is a page for wpdb methods and uh, here in the insert raw i will i will come over here in a bit but uh, let me show you what i'm gonna check uh, i'm gonna show you so this is the custom table for my custom uh, sorry for my local site this is the custom plugin i have added over here on the site and i'm gonna i have already added uh, code related to this methods in our previous videos so i would suggest if you are new to this video um, please refer this video first and come back again over here and if you already know instead of the delete using wpdb method then you can keep continue watching this video so um, let me open my custom plugin so this is my local wordpress repo wp content plugin my plugin includes and this is the file where i added all the code related to wpdb methods in this file wpdb methods.php so let me make this a bit small so first method is insert and we uh, used this wpdb insert method in which we just pass table and data so first let's see over here in this method table and data are the uh, necessary arguments and third one is format which is an optional argument but in order to do a safe execution we should use that format so what this format does so using the format we can specify for example we are passing two arguments uh, sorry two parameters uh, first name and last name so we can specify the type of this uh, parameter so both are string so we can use dollar s for both uh, values so first goes for first argument and second goes for second so by adding this we are telling that this both values should be string and uh, let's try to assign this into a variable and uh, let's try to var dump this variable so for the sake of demonstration i have added everything um, sorry where is my method Okay, let me call this function inside wp head. 
so for the sake of uh, demonstrate I am adding this into WP head but uh, you should use this whenever it is necessary to you so let me run expand all this other code this is not necessary for this video yeah so for the insert third argument we should specify what type of data we need to insert into the database so now this process uh, sorry this operation happens only when we pass query string into the URL so let's try to pass a query string into URL so something goes wrong WPDB Oh, sorry, semicolon. So, so let's refresh again. So it is displaying in integer one. That means it is successfully executed and our entry has been added. Now, um, yeah, let's pass the age as well. and let's pass this as a four and four digit we should use percentage d and uh, let's change this to one one and one now let's try to refresh this again So it has added this data now let's say if i change the second parameter from dollar s to oh sorry percentage s to percentage t and i will keep this as a string and let's see what happens so i will refresh this So uh, as you can see it adds 0 instead of this value because we have specified uh, that it should accept digit only but we are passing string over here. So that is why it has added 0 and uh, similarly if I make this percentage s which means it should we should add a string over here for the third argument but we are keeping that as a number let's refresh this so it is adding again because um, yeah it is taking that as a string anyways so whenever it is uh, we pass as number but uh, use a string it is actually added as a string but it's uh, it's no way to uh, identify the type over here but uh, since this is string and uh, we expect the number over here so that's why it has added number zero so i hope that makes sense so that's for in insert method now let's check that same for the update so in the update we have uh, one two three 
uh, required arguments and last two arguments for are optional but it is again same for um, this one update data and this for where condition so similarly we can pass that for both in the update so first first one will be for this data so we can pass like this and uh, second array will be for this where condition where we can specify like this so that's that and uh, it similarly for delete yeah so for delete there are two arguments uh, necessary but the last one is uh, is the fair format so this this is the where condition and this is the where format you can use like this so yeah this is the safe way to execute wpdb methods and uh, yeah this is the video this is how we should use wpdb methods to execute queries um, I hope this makes sense to you. Um, if you have any doubt or question, please write down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video, guys.